Well, good morning. Thanks for joining us for Kids Worship Online. I'm so glad you're with us this morning. I cannot believe that this is our last week in the book of Psalms. There are so many more Psalms we could have covered. So if you have some time, read it for yourself, the different Psalms, and just learn how to praise God through that. So we are looking at Psalm 103, and that one is kind of a long one. So we're only going to look at the first 12 verses today. And as we read that, I want you to think about how we can praise God and who God is, because that's what we're learning about, the character of God and how we can worship Him. So let's start our time with prayer. Are you ready? One, two, three. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your blessings, for who you are. We thank you that you are with us each and every day. I pray for my friends as they begin school soon, that they would just be excited and ready to learn online and just be uh, willing to learn and just worshiping you through that action. We love you and praise your name. Amen. All right. So Psalm 103. So turn in your booklet or in your Bible and let's read that together. I will praise the Lord. Deep down inside me, I will praise him. I will praise him because his name is holy. I will praise the Lord. I won't forget anything he does for me. He forgives all my sins. He heals all my sickness. He saves my life from going down into the grave. He is faithful and tender love makes me feel like a king. He satisfies me with good things I desire. Then I feel young and strong again, just like an eagle. The Lord does what is right and fair for all who treat him badly or treat badly. He told Moses all about his plans. He let the people of Israel see his mighty acts. The Lord is tender and kind. He is gracious. He is slow to get angry. He is full of love. He won't keep bringing charges against us. He won't stay angry with us forever. He doesn't punish us for our sins as much as we should be punished. He doesn't pay us back in keeping with the evil things we've done. He loves those who respect him. His love is as high as the heavens are above the earth. He has removed our sin from us. He has removed them as far as the east is from the west. This psalm is so full of information about who God is. We know that God is love and we know that he is slow to anger and we know that he wants good things for you. We know that he has saved us from our sins by sending his son Jesus to die for us. And the first part of the verse talks about how we can praise him. I will praise him. I will praise him. I will praise him. I will praise him four times in this very early part of 103. They talk about praising the Lord. So I think we should praise the Lord, right? So we can praise him through song. We can praise him through actions. We can worship him by listening and obeying to parents and grandparents and teachers to being kind to our siblings or kind to our neighbors or our friends, or maybe especially kind to those that are not kind to us, which I know is really hard. So I have this, it's called Jars of Clay, and it is an album, which is pretty cool. It's called a record, and I did not grow up listening to records like this. Um, my grandparents probably did, probably your grandparents did. And this is a cool way to listen to music if you have a record player. Ask someone older if they know what a record is. But this one is by Jars of Clay, which is a cool Christian band that I listen to a lot. And I just thought music is a way we can worship God. And so when we worship Him through song, maybe we listen to a worship song, or maybe you sing Jesus Loves Me before you go to bed, or you can come to church, the church building on a Sunday morning and worship Him in that capacity, or right now, be, before you watch this, maybe you worshiped with a song or two. And so music is a big a part of who we are as humans. And so when we use that music to worship God, we're showing Him that we love Him and that we're thankful for what He has done for us. So take some time as a family to unpack all of this. There's a lot there. Like I said, I want you to know the first things first, that God loves you so much and that we can worship him. And that's what we've been learning about in this whole book of Psalms. 
Next week, we're going to talk about prayer and how that relates to Psalms. And then we're going to start a new study that will start in September. So have a great week. I'll be praying for you. And um, I'll see you next week.